All right, guys, today I'm going to show you the most insane Rust console edition bunker base exploit, and we're going to get straight into the build. So I'm going to give you guys the principles for how to put down this base, and then you can turn it into whatever you want, seriously. Okay, so the first base design that we're going to put down is the one that I used in my most recent video. So if you guys haven't checked that out, check out the YouTube card in the top right corner now. And this is a hexagon foundation base. Essentially, what you want to do is find a relatively flat area to build in, and you want to put your foundations quite low to the floor, but not too deep into water that you can't actually place uh, boxes on top. So something like that should work pretty well. And this, this design is a little bit tricky, so bear with me. What you need to do is, it doesn't really matter what orientation you do this in, but you want to put your foundations down like this. So use a half wall and make this kind of design. So it's almost like a, an X, a X across the middle of the hexagon foundation. Okay, so once you have the X down, uh, all you want to do is fill in those gaps there and then fill in these two gaps here and this is what you should end up with is two two diamonds two diamonds into the hexagon foundation from here this is probably one of the trickiest parts that is really important to get right what you need to do is come to the edge of the, the very edge of the hexagon here and you can see if you pull out your triangle floor foundation if you move back and forth across the top of the foundation, you can see how the, the floor actually changes position. So what you want to do is you want to get this into this orientation where it's as far to the right as possible. So we're going to build that, build that foundation there, that floor there. And then on this corner, what you want to do is again, do the same thing. But you want to have this one as far out to the to the side on the right here as possible. So I'll see if I can get it to clip. There we go. Across to the right. So you can see as I come down, it moves to the left. As you come up, it clips across, across to the right. So that's in place. And then what we're going to do is just do the exact same thing on the other side. So again, first one across to the right there and the second one here as far out to the side as possible there we go okay so that's probably the trickiest part from here you want to destroy these half walls so I'll show you exactly which ones to keep in place and which ones to destroy the ones that you want to keep in place are the two that go directly across the middle of the hexagon so they're the only two um, half walls that you want to maintain the rest of them all need to be destroyed and i'll tell you why in a moment but again this is a really important step so make sure that you do this okay so before we go any further i'm going to show you why you need to remove those walls i've left this one here just as a uh, example so the only way that people can work out this bunker base design is if they look at the stability of the floor. So you can see there that it's 27%. Whereas if you build a foundation, like a triangle foundation, the stability is always 100%. So that's the only way that people can actually work out that this is a bunk base design from the inside of your base. So by removing these external half walls, what it allows you to do is to put foundations on the outside. So that's really important because what it does is it stops people running up to your base and you know checking to see if there are actually foundations or walls. As you can see here, with that half wall there, you can't actually build a foundation there. You can only build it as a low foundation. So it's really important that you remove these half walls on the outside and only keep the two half walls on the inside. So, so far looking good. This is the design that you should sort of end up with um, to start off with. Okay, so once you've got this design set up, you wanna secure it. So put down your doorway. What I like to do is leave one of these leave one of these foundations to put my tool cupboard in, just so that there's more room 
inside this triangle, like inside this hexagon area. So we'll whack down a door. That's kind of backwards, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. And we'll whack a lock on. And from there, we're going to upgrade. So first of all, I'm going to upgrade the outside. Because as you can see, as I upgrade the foundations, it stops people from peeking in. Okay, and we're secure. It is also important, uh, you do want to upgrade the floor here to stone, so we'll do that as well. And you can upgrade this to like sheet metal or something if you like. Just make sure you don't upgrade it to wood. The reason for that being, if you upgrade the floor to wood, then the little corners of, of like the wooden foundation will actually stick out and you can see from the outside that it's a bunker base. So make sure it's either stone or metal. Looking good. I'm going to whack down a TC just so I don't get uh, griefed while I'm trying to show you guys this stuff. Okay, so this is how your base design should look at this stage. Um, the next thing to do is to place your loot boxes. So what you want to do here is come into this little drop down section and place these two boxes across that foundation line there. And then we'll do the same on this side, so across the foundation line. Okay, nice. From here, you want to upgrade this to stone. Okay, so we've got four large boxes hidden underneath um, in this little loot section. And so you can go ahead and seal off. Now that you've got the boxes there, you can seal off these two triangle floors. And <laughs> as you can see, it looks like just a standard hexagon foundation base. Um, and I, like I said before, the only way that you can tell that it's not a foundation is if you look at the floor with a hammer and you can see the stability. Um, so 19%, 31%. If you look at a foundation, it's 100%. All right. So if you guys can remember those two lines that we put the boxes across is are these two lines here in this orientation. So all you need to do is get yourself a bow or a weapon and stand right in the middle of this line, look straight down at the floor and sort of wriggle your way back and forth until you see <laughs> the box open up. <laughs> so it can be a little bit, a little bit aids, you know, finding the perfect spot in terms of, you know, looting these boxes, but it's really not that hard. It might take you a couple goes and a bit of practice to get used to, but that way you can loot all four of these boxes through this little glitch in the floor and that allows you to have four large boxes of loot underneath the floor. I'm gonna show you in a moment how you can do the exact same thing with a two by two foundation. So literally any base, like they're the two most common, you know, base designs really. Um, so any base essentially could have this overpowered loot room design. And unless you're privy to this information and checking the foundation stability, then you know, you're not gonna know and people are gonna finesse you. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, let's move on to the two by two design. Hopefully I have enough wooden stone to achieve this, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's move on to the two by two um, design for this base exploit. What we're going to start off with are three triangle foundations, nice and low to the floor. Um, and you can follow that by making two square foundations uh, next to it. So you've got this sort of design. From here, pull out your half wall and you want to place it in a zigzag orientation like so. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. From there, build yourself, um, get your triangle floor out. And similar principle, you want to this is the most important part of the build is build the triangle floor as far to the outside um, of this of this low wall as possible so i'll place that one there and we'll do the exact same thing on the other side so as far to the outside as possible takes a little bit of wiggling around sometimes there we go and from here you can place your square ceilings like so Okay, so all you want to do from there is replicate that exact same process on the other side.
After that, what you want to do is place your two half walls on the inside here, going horizontally, like so. By building those half walls there, you can see that these, all these four square ceilings only attach to the half walls. So by doing that, it allows you to get rid of all of this. Which, similar to before with the other, with the other design, is important because what it allows you to do is to build foundations on the outside of the base so that you know again people can't come up with a hammer and check the stability so i would definitely recommend doing this i know it's a, an extra step and you could like to be honest you could probably get away most of the time by just upgrading that all and keeping it as it is but any any experienced player is probably gonna check the foundation stability if they're suspicious that it could be a bunker base and then your your whole plan is is foiled <laughs> okay so now that we've got that down uh, what we can do is place our large boxes here. So as long as they're crossing that halfway mark, then that's completely fine. And from there, we're just going to fill in the, the foundations on the outside. Give ourselves a doorway and then you can, you know, you can secure this base up. All right, so now that we're secured, same thing goes. Uh, the, these two lines here, straight across the middle, are where the loot boxes are sitting. So if you've done this correctly, again, you should be able to loot the boxes straight through this little gap in the in the floor. And it seems to be easier, to be honest, with the uh, with the square foundations. And you can do that right across, you know, all four boxes here. I will mention if you guys want to use this design with the two by two foundation, you can actually fit two large boxes with a small box in between as well. So if you want that extra bit of loot storage underneath then that's always an option as well but there you have it guys a pretty insane bunker base exploit on rust console edition at the moment like i said i've had some fun using this design but um, i'm not going to use it anymore i feel like it is definitely an exploit and the reason i'm making this video is to raise awareness to this as an exploit so hopefully d11 pick up on this and fix it in future patches but there you go have fun and uh, make sure that next time you raid someone you check out there uh, <laughs> the stability of their floor just in case it's a little uh, gg bunker base alrighty guys thanks for watching uh, i'll see you i'll see you next time